There are tens of thousands of games to play on PC, with more being added every single day, so it's a real challenge to come up with a best of all time list. Instead, we rounded up the top 20 PC games to play in 2022. Some were released this year, others are ones that have stood the test of time, but regardless, there should be something here for every type of PC gamer. There are many asymmetrical horror survival games, take Evil Dead and even Predator for example, but the best is still Dead by Daylight, which puts you in the shoes of either a classic horror movie killer or a hapless survivor. Since its release in 2016, the game's roster has exploded, featuring characters from Stranger Things, Hellraiser, and even other games like Resident Evil. If getting spooked with your buds sounds good to you, then Dead by Daylight is a great choice. It's true that since its release in 2011, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim has been ported to just about every platform that can play games, including Amazon Alexa speakers and smart refrigerators. I didn't catch that. First one But the king of all Skyrim versions is the one on PC, and it's not even close. That's because the PC version gives you access to years of mods created by the Skyrim community. From adding serious RPG story content to providing ridiculous possibilities like replacing all dragons with Thomas the Tank Engine, the PC version of Skyrim adds nearly endless options to an already expansive, enormous game. You can never go wrong with a one-two combo of RPG goodness and tactical action, something which Wildemyth excels at. An examination of the power of stories, Wildermyth delivers on an ambitious idea with flexible systems and imaginative campaigns. What starts out as stock standard RPG fare quickly evolves along the way into something that feels grander and more personal, while challenging gameplay and procedurally generated content adds a few extra hurdles along the way. Despite releasing five years ago, Destiny 2 remains one of the most popular live service multiplayer games around. While the sequel started off on a strong note, it has only gotten better, thanks to consistent updates and expansions that delivered a steady stream of enthralling first-person shooter content. And it's not even close to being too late to jump into Destiny 2, as more content is coming through 2023. Destiny 2's plethora of content would be nothing without strong mechanics and overarching systems that keep you grinding away for new gear. Bungie crafted one of the best feeling first person shooters we've played in recent years, so it offers a constant source of fun, regardless of whether you're making your way through story missions, going on challenging raids with friends, or battling in the Crucible. It's a wonderful game that digs its teeth into you the more you play, and it's easily one of the best cooperative PC games available. This is the best $3 you'll ever spend, and you can quote me on that. Either use WASD or the arrow keys to move around as your character automatically attacks the beasties that swarm you. Level up to unlock even more abilities to help fend them off, survive long enough and you'll end up facing death himself. It's easy to pick up and tricky to master, and one of the games I can't stop obsessing over. One of the most original games of recent memory, Before Your Eyes has a simple premise that hinges on your eyes controlling the entire experience through a webcam. You play as a recently deceased person, and the game chronicles your life, but the catch is, every time you blink, time moves forward. It's a terrific idea, incredibly well implemented, and ties in perfectly with themes of memories, life, and storing those precious moments within ourselves. It's unusual, but packs a heavyweight emotional punch. You won't want to take your eyes off this game for a single instant. Disco Elysium is perhaps unrivaled when it comes to games writing. It places you in the role of a detective suffering from amnesia and a serious hangover. His quest to unravel a baffling murder and the details of his life that he's forgotten takes you on an absolutely stunning adventure that thrives on its choice-based gameplay and exquisite dialogue. Disco Elysium balances humor and serious life dilemmas with astounding grace, and the freedom it gives you to shape the narrative and your interactions with its many colorful characters you meet allows you to make this detective story your own. The final cut comes with a few extra missions and a full voice cast. There's seriously nothing else like it. The Final Fantasy series is known for having a strong focus on storytelling, with colourful characters who get into over-the-top battles, and the MMO Final Fantasy XIV manages to stay true to what the series is all about. XIV is the franchise's second crack at an MMO, and it features a sprawling story about rebellion, equality, and friendship that manages to hit the same highs of the franchise's best single-player games. 
Final Fantasy XIV offers an excellent gateway for lapsed and new MMO players to jump into, with its expanded free trial which you can play through the entirety of A Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heavensward expansion up to level 60 for free with no restrictions on playtime. I'm sorry, I had to do it. At first glance, Inscription looks like a mixture of tabletop card games with a healthy dose of deck building thrown in for good measure, as you risk your very life in a high stakes game of survival. Throw in some roguelite progression, mystery and a very creepy art direction, and you've got the perfect mix for a game that hides more mesmerising content beneath its surface. Absolutely strange while it deals out its ideas, that weirdness makes Inscription the type of game that'll live rent free in your head long after you've played your last card. One of the most original indie games of last year, Loop Hero can't be defined by any single genre. A creatively clever mix of RPG staples, deck building charm and brutal strategy, Loop Hero merges all of these elements together to create a bold and fresh adventure that'll keep you occupied for hours on end. In V Rising, you awaken as a weakened vampire in a world overrun by humans, and it's up to you to regain your strength, gather resources, build your kingdom, and become top dog once again. Since its release in May 2022, it's already sold 1.5 million copies, and it's still in early access. You can either play alone or with friends, but regardless, you're in for a bloody good time. Only the Stanley Parable, a nearly unexplainable game where things get regularly weird and meta, could get away with hiding what amounts to a sequel within the frame of an expanded re-release of the original game. Like the original title, the strange and hilariously distracted nature of the Stanley Parable is something that you have to experience for yourself, as words simply do not do it justice. With the Ultra Deluxe Edition, you're getting an experience that feels like a game within a game, adding the illusion of freedom and other surprises along the way. It's nothing short of a clever and thought-provoking examination of video games and the relationship that we have with them. The initial response to Valorant was that it's basically a mashup where Overwatch meets Counter-Strike, and yeah, that's pretty accurate. But that's also a good thing, because Valorant draws on many of the strengths of those games to make something unique. Valorant has seen content updates and changes since its launch, and it's been quite successful, so you can expect the game to get more support moving forward. If a competitive first-person shooter with layered tactics, precise gunplay, and intense moments is your thing, Valorant is worth a try. If you're hungry for a Zelda-like adventure, then Tunic is well equipped to fill you up with some nostalgic and cathartic gameplay. Not just an homage to Zelda games of the NES and SNES eras, Tunic's familiar green clothing and swordplay in a vibrant and colourful world is balanced by a collection of amazing puzzles and challenges that require quick reflexes and superb wits. Evocative of a bygone time and somehow still feeling like a completely fresh take on the subject matter, this love letter to the past was years in the making and more than delivers on its elevator pitch of exploration and wonder. Have you ever thought to yourself, I'd like to try my hand at speed running? Well, Neon White might just be your way in. As an assassin given a chance of redemption by killing demons in heaven, you quickly make your way through levels, collecting soul cards which you can either use as weapons or burn to give you movement abilities to complete levels even quicker. There are leaderboards, so no doubt you'll be pressing F and then spacebar to refresh your game to beat your friend's scores every few minutes. Few games get the absolute thrill of driving a ridiculously fast car the way that the Forza Horizon series does, and its latest chapter is another example of pure petrol head bliss. Shifting to the warm climate of Mexico, Forza Horizon 5 sticks to its template and hits top gear right from the start with its selection of vehicles, activities and a constant sense of reward for being a speed demon. Beyond its superb gameplay, Forza Horizon 5 also takes time to emphasize a personal connection between man and machine as it balances epic showcase events with personal moments of reflection and car culture. And did I mention that a Hot Wheels expansion was just around the corner? Even if it took a few years, the wait for one of the best PlayStation games on the market to hit PC was well worth it. While previous God of War games emphasised gratuitous violence and a character with the personality of a very angry cardboard box, Sony's reinvention of Kratos helped create a more nuanced and layered hero. That doesn't mean that there wasn't a satisfying amount of carnage to engage in though, as developer Sony Santa Monica expanded on Kratos' brutal abilities in methodical ways and gave him plenty of new tools to play with in a Nordic sandbox. 
A strong contender for the very best game of 2022, From Software's latest dip into dark fantasy and brutal combat is the studio at its very best. The lands between are a massive sandbox in which to explore as a newly risen tarnished warrior, and every corner of this world hides a secret that'll take you down a path of danger in exchange for fascinating lore and powerful rewards. While Elden Ring doesn't stray too far from the usual From Software formula, it does polish the elegant gameplay and signature style of that studio to a mirror finish that's beautiful to behold and loaded with dozens of hours of content to dive into. After Monster Hunter World set a new benchmark for what the Capcom series was capable of, Monster Hunter Rise had some big dragon leather boots to fill. Rise is a showcase of what happens when you take the lessons learned from something new and apply it to an older example of Monster Hunter greatness, as the newest game in the series expertly shifted back to all-out action. Originally designed for the Nintendo Switch, Rise's port to PC came with a ton of free post-launch content, graphical upgrades and performance enhancements that make this first Version, the definitive edition of an already fantastic game. It all starts with an old broken down farm and a handful of seeds. You clear out the weeds and rocks until you get tired, and then you do it all again. You get into the rhythm of daily life, visiting friends, watering crops, occasional light spelunking. Before you know it, it's been 75 hours and you're mostly managing your complex irrigation system and planning for next season's harvest. Stardew Valley is a friendly, relaxing experience that also somehow manages to be endlessly addictive, and while it's appeared on just about every platform, PC often gets the first chance to test all of the little quality of life tweaks and new features that come with patches. Plus, there is a huge library of mods that let you tweak various gameplay elements, give the game a new aesthetic, and even add extensive new content and characters. So there we have it, 20 of the best games to play on PC right now. If I missed any, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll do a follow-up video. You can find me on Twitter, at Lucy James Games, and playing Neon White, where I'm desperately trying to beat everyone's scores. For all the latest on PC gaming, make sure to follow GameSpot. <laughs>